Hey everyone, how's it going? So a friend asked me a question about bar chords. The question simply was um, it, about bar chords, if there was an escape or do we just have to endure that pain? I do have an answer, this is my answer. If you do want to get better at the bar and have that feeling go away, you will have to endure. But it does get easier with time the more you practice it. But, in the meantime, there are possible ways to escape actually holding down more than two strings. And these are great. If you want to get a bit more familiar with your fretboard, kind of move around a bit, see what other shapes there are. And so I'm going to cover three chords. I'm going to cover the F chord, the B chord, and the E flat chord. And uh, the only movable chords will be the F chords. And uh, if you don't know what that means, then I'll show you. All right, here we go. So let's start off with the F chords. What you want to do is you take your first finger, first fret of the B, your second finger, put on the second fret of the G, third finger on the third fret of the uh, A string, then your fourth finger on the third fret of the D string. And you don't want to pluck either of the E strings. So uh, if it helps, I like to keep my pinky on the high E string here, so I don't, even if I strike it, it's not going to sound out. So that's what I like to do. And as far as not hitting the first E string uh, coordination, that's about the only thing I can tell you, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it sounds like this. Alright, second variation first finger on the 5th fret of the G string, your 2nd finger on the 6th fret of the B string, your 3rd finger on the 7th fret of the D, and then your pinky on the 8th uh, fret of the A string. Again, don't pluck any E string. There are variations to both of those F chords. You can remove the pinky and just let the A string ring open. If you want to. It gives it a bit of a deeper tone, but those chords aren't exactly movable. And again, I'll explain that. All right, next up we have the B chord. This is the bar form. But I'll show you guys a couple ways. So what you want to do is you want to take your first finger, put on the second fret of the A, your third finger, put on the fourth fret of the D, then your pinky, put on the fourth fret of the G, and pick the four middle strings. So again, don't pick any of the E strings. It's technically a B fifth, but Okay, we're trying to get out of the bar. <laughs> Another way you can do, you keep your third and your fourth finger in the same exact place, so the fourth fret of the D and the G string, but you take your index and place it on the second fret of the E string. Now, unlike the other chords, you don't want to hit the first two strings. You want to hit uh, the D, G, B, and E strings, so it sounds like this. so there's those. Lastly, this is probably going to be the easiest one, is your E flat chord. It sounds like this, or this. However, to escape the bar, what you want to do is take your C chord, your standard normal C chord, and move it to where your index finger is on the fourth fret of the B string. Same exact chord, just move it down a few frets, and then just like before, don't hit either of the E strings. Alright, that's the first chord. Now, add your pinky in. This is the second non-bar form. Add your pinky in to the 6th fret of the high E. Now the only string you don't want to pick is the low E string. So don't mind that. 
As you can see, I've got my thumb actually covering the E string so it's muted. Just in case. But anyway, pinky finger, 6th fret of the high E, and it sounds like this. So yeah. Now, to kind of explain this movable chord form, there are other bar chords that I didn't talk about, like A flat. What you can do is you take this non-F I just taught you, move it down to the 4th fret, and then you can take this F form and move it down actually to like 1st or 2nd fret. And so that's how those two chords are movable. And then you can use either of the E flat. Yeah, but there's there's a couple examples on how the F chords are movable. Or let's say I wanted to do this. So there you go. Those chord forms should help you to uh, get out of the bar. Because chances are you're probably too young anyway, you know. Let the adults do the drinking. <laughs> Alright. That's enough corny bar jokes from, from me. You know, pastor and a priest and a pope all walked into a bar.